Well, cutting edge technology, and I mean that literally, arrived in Caldwell. News Channel 7's Abby Davis is live at Purple Sage Golf Course to explain how a new tool is helping solve productivity challenges and labor shortages. Abby? That's right. Now, these machines right here are autonomous mowers. That's right. They go all by themselves. And Europe has really been on this trend for a while, so they're just now making their way to the U.S. But I'm told that Caldwell is really ahead of the pack as this is the first fleet in the state, and they're already making a pretty big difference. In Caldwell, autonomous mowers are the future. It's, it's amazing. It just... They just mow seven days a week. You know, you don't have to worry about, are they going to show up to work to mow the grass today because they're there and they're doing it. Caldwell Mayor Jerome Wagoner says the city first thought about buying autonomous mowers about four months ago. Now they're finally here. At Purple Sage Golf Course, a small fleet cuts about 30 acres a week. Wagoner says this new technology helps alleviate pressure from labor shortages. You know, working at a golf course isn't the easiest thing. You know, you're out in the sun a lot all day. Um, it's long days, long hours, early hours a lot of time. It's tough right now. My average age of my crew out here is 65 and they're all part-time guys. Golf Superintendent Ken Wheeler says there were some skeptics at first. The reason why, concerns about taking jobs away. But Wheeler says these mowers are not replacing people, merely filling vacancies. For the most part, everybody's kind of calmed down on that, and other people are excited about the technology. Aside from increasing productivity, Wagoner says autonomous mowers are eco-conscious. Grass as it's cut is a very as full of nutrients and things like that. So as it goes right back into the soil, um, again reduces the amount of fertilizer you have to use, kind of creates that mulching in there, so that it reduces the water as well. The city paid around $150,000 for six autonomous mowers. Professional mowers cost about $90,000. Wagoner says the investment is worth it both in the short term and long term. Three mowers are stationed at the golf course, and the other three mowers are at Wolf Field. Wagner says they hope to purchase more fleets in the future and use them at various parks around the city. We want to continue to add to our autonomous fleet um, so that, you know, we can have people doing what they're supposed to be doing, really maintaining and taking care of those certain special areas and let the autonomous mowers just go out and do the mowing um, and let the people that are trained to do the other stuff do what they're doing rather than sitting on a, on a mower mowing grass. So right now, these mowers are really only cut out to navigate rougher terrain, which is why you see them on this big open plain and not closer in on the fairways. Now, I'm told as technology evolves, you may start to see them a little further in closer to people. But the next time you're in Caldwell, if you see some of these guys, now you know what they're about. I don't think I've ever seen one. No, and uh, it's like, you know, we we'll probably won't see them on the greens for a while. No. Abby, thank you so much. Really interesting to see that they're moving in that direction. And it's like a mega Roomba. Yeah, the golf it did course. look like a Roomba. It did. Thanks, Abby.